What is going on guys, it's Amit, you're watching DevDreamer and welcome to lesson 29 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to be learning all about arrays. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Also be sure to ring that bell and choose all notifications so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson 29. In this lesson then, we're going to be learning all about arrays. Before we do, let's just take a step back and understand the bigger picture here. So way back in our lesson on data types, we identified that JavaScript has two main types, primitives and non-primitives. And if you recall, we said that primitives were things such as numbers, strings, and booleans, and we've covered each of those now in detail. What we're gonna be doing now is moving on to the object data type. Remember, non-primitives are basically objects. And we said that in JavaScript, the following data structures are objects, arrays, functions, and objects themselves. So in the coming lessons, we're going to be learning all about these in detail. We'll start, of course, in this lesson with arrays. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, then, what is an array? An array is basically an ordered list of values. Now, these values can be of any data type. So our array can be made up of numbers, strings, booleans, and even other arrays. Now, there are different ways to create an array, but the one that you'll be using pretty much most of the time is called an array literal. So in our text editor here, I'm going to say let supers be assigned the value of, and then the way that we create an array literal is we do square brackets. So these square brackets will hold all of our array values. So in here, I'm gonna say Superman, and these will all be comma separated. Let's go for Batman, and two more, let's say Flash and Aquaman. So our array then consists of four values. Now each of these values is a string. Now, remember we said that an array is an ordered list of values. The reason why it's an ordered list is because each of these values is represented by an index or a number. So let's say we wanted to access one of these values. Let's just go ahead and console log this. So let's say console.log. And the way that we access this array is we first write the array name. So as is called supers, and then we do square brackets. And then inside here then, we need to provide an index. Now, arrays are zero indexed, meaning the first value, so in this case here, Superman, will have an index value of zero. This will have an index value of one, two, and three. So let's say we wanted to console log flash. Well, we would say the name of our array, which is supers, square brackets, and then inside the square brackets, zero, one, and two is the number we're looking for. So in here, let's say two. Let's go ahead and save. And sure enough, we get flash in the console. Let's just go ahead and zoom in on this and let's try and access another value. Let's say we want to access the first value of Superman. Remember, arrays are zero indexed, so we simply say zero, and this will give us the first value. So let's save, and as you can see, that's worked because we get Superman in the console. Now, we can also add more values to an array like so. So let's just get rid of this for now. And the way that we add another value is we say the name of our array, which is supers, square brackets, and now we provide an index so I'm gonna say four, because at the moment we've got zero, one, two, and three. So I want to add another value on the end of this. So we're gonna say supers four, and then we just assign this to a value. So let's go for Wonder Woman. And now if we log supers, so just log the entire array, in our console, you can see that our new value, Wonder Woman, has been added to our array. We can also delete values from our array. So let's go ahead and delete, let's say we want to delete flash. So first we just say the keyword delete, space, and then the name of our array. So supers, square brackets, and then inside here then, we provide the index of the value we want to delete. So down here we can see that flash has an index value of two. Once again, zero, one, and two. So let's say two, let's save. And now you can see that flash has been deleted. Incidentally, Wonder Woman has also been deleted because we've removed that line. Now, you might notice something strange here. For some reason, the length here still says four. And if you look up here, we've got Superman, Batman, and then where Flash originally was, we've just got the word empty, and we've got Aquaman. Let's see what happens when we actually console log this. So let's just copy this, console.log, and this returns undefined. So you would have thought that if we've deleted Flash from our array, then supers two should now refer to Aquaman, right? It's because it would be zero, one, and then two but instead this returns undefined. So what's going on here? Well, the reason why this doesn't return Aquaman is because Aquaman isn't simply moved up in the index. It's still in index number three. When we delete a value, the value is deleted, but the index position still remains. Only now it returns undefined as we have over here. 
Now, in the next lesson, we're going to be learning about array methods, and one of those methods enables us to delete and completely remove value from an array. And as you'll see when it comes to array methods, there are some really, really cool things that we can do. Another thing to bear in mind is if we try to add another value, so let's go rid of this and remove this delete keyword. If we try to add another value and use an index that already exists, then this will be replaced by the new value. So let's just go ahead and save and just check our arrays back to normal, which it is. And let's add a new value in. We'll add Wonder Woman again, but this time we'll be using an index position that already has a value. So we're saying supers two, which in this case is flash zero, one, and two. So let's say Wonder Woman, let's save. And as you can see here, our new value has completely replaced the old value. So once again, if we use an index that already exists, like we've done here, okay, we've used the index value of two, then our new value will replace our old value. Now, as mentioned, arrays can also contain other data types. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this. And here, let's put some more values in. Let's say one. We can, of course, use strings like we've used already. Let's say hello. We can use Boolean values. We can say true false. So as you can see, it's not just strings that we can use, we can actually use any value in an array. We can also include object data types, so functions, objects, and even, as mentioned earlier, other arrays. So here let's say comma, and the way that we add an array inside another array is we simply do square brackets. Inside here let's say good, evil, and finally we'll go for neutral. Now when we add an array inside another array like we've done here, this array becomes known as a multi-dimensional array. So how do we access values inside a multi-dimensional array? Let's console.log our value, and let's say that we wanted to log this value here, neutral. Well, first we'll need the name of our array, which is supers, just like before. Then we do square brackets, and now what we're looking for is the index position of this value. So this array is at position number, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this is at position number 8. And now to access a value inside this array, we simply add another set of square brackets on the end with another index value. And this value refers to this array. So what we're looking for here then is 0, 1, 2. So let's go ahead and save. And sure enough, in the console, we get the word neutral. So that's all about how to use arrays. Let's go ahead and summarize. So an array is a list of ordered values. We say ordered values because each value inside an array is represented by an index number. Arrays are zero indexed, meaning the first value will always have an index of zero, the second value an index of one, and so on and so forth. We create an array literal by using square brackets. Arrays can contain any type of value such as strings, numbers, booleans, even non-primitives such as functions, objects, and even other arrays. And finally, we can access the values inside of the array by using the array name and then inside the square brackets, the number of the indexed value. Okay, let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson. For task number one, I want you to create an array of any three countries and then add an extra country in index number three and then console log the list. And for task number two, I want you to create a multi-dimensional array of colors, three colors in the top level of the array and three colors in the second level. And then I want you to access the last color in the second level and console log the result. Okay, so as always, go ahead and pause the video, try these out, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. Okay, so how'd you go on then? Let's see. So for task number one then, we need to create an array of any three countries. So I'm gonna say let countries be assigned the value of, then we do square brackets to create our array. Inside here, let's say England, and let's go for France, and finally, Spain. Okay, and now we need to add an extra country in index number three. So down here, it's gonna say countries, index value of three, and let's assign this to, let's go for Italy. And finally, we just need to console log countries. And in the console then, we get our three original countries, and then finally, our new country in index number three. Okay, so that's task one. For task number two, we need to create a multi-dimensional array of colors. So we're gonna say let colors, we assign the value of, and then we want three colors in the top level and then three colors in the second level. So here, let's go for red, yellow, and blue. And now let's create another array inside here and add three more colors. So we're gonna say orange, purple, and finally green. 
and what we need to do is console log the last color in the second level so we're looking to console log the value of green so once again we say the name of our array which is colors square brackets and remember here what we're looking for is the index value of our array so it's going to be 0 1 2 and then 3 okay so we say colors 3 and then we do square brackets again and this time we're looking for 0 1 and 2 okay let's save and sure enough we get the value of green so guys, well done completing those tasks. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be learning all about array properties and methods. And as mentioned, we can use them to do some really, really cool things. So be sure to tune in. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you on the next one.